Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh dan salam sejahtera. Terima kasih atas kesudian sudah hadir dan saudara orang kami yang datang melancarkan program ini. I am I don't like most of you extremely delighted to be here to listen to our success stories that um, give us that uh, strengthen our resolve and belief that we have this enormous potential in this country. And thanks to the um, the friends who has come and enlightened us what has been achieved thus far, though not known to many Malaysians. I um, knew this digital economy because in the years I was in prison, <laughs> there was no phone and computer. I was back to the traditional mode of learning books and the classics, pen and paper. But I am convinced that if we want to prepare the economy forward, we have to accept the dictates and demand of the time. That include what we have heard today about digitalization, digital economy. I've spent the last many, many months, and Drew and the rest, virtually listening to them, learning from them, what all these Greek terms are about. AI, IOT, which <laughs> I've not heard when I was in prison. <laughs> so I'm fortunate because I have some very dedicated friends committed to the course want me to support and engineer this program forward. That's why I'm here today. That's why we launched the DNA 23 together with uh, Gobind Singh. Now, we also talk about diversity and inclusiveness because it's also my concern. I don't want this country to move forward and ignore the plight of the poor. Malays, Chinese, Iban, Indians, doesn't matter. The poor, the marginalized are human beings, not because of their color or their religious beliefs. Therefore, the focus, whilst we continue to engineer this new program, reform of our economy, and it has to be towards meritocracy and sophistication in these related industries, we cannot ignore, as I said, the plight of the urban and rural poor. And another cause of concern, it must not lead to further inequality in this country. Now, you have heard about diversity. There's strength in all of us if we are given adequate opportunities. All these new sophisticated um, terms that we use must be shared by every single citizen of our country. That is our mission. And I'm very fortunate to know Mitch Kapo and Frida since 2005. because we've served together in the invitation of former Vice President Al Gore, another dear friend of ours. Now, Mitch is, of course, brilliant in this field. And um, he was quite instrumental in introducing me to all these gadgets and new terms. It was, we were talking about Uber, I think about 2010, when he mentioned, and we were just polite, none of us were convinced. But because he was the expert, you know, with Lotus, uh, with Steve Jobs and the rest, in, in, the, in the earlier period, we, none of us argued. We were just polite. But, okay, Mitch, you have a say. That's it. That's it. So I am personally very delighted to have him as guest of our family in Kuala Lumpur and to invite him. In fact, we arranged this program just to fit his schedule at no cost. 
and and because he's passionate about these things i mean um, he has been um, one of the great i mean instrumental supporters for these startups um, the latinos the blacks those who are not um, given in ordinary terms uh, occasion enough opportunity uh, to rise up and to survive in that very fierce competitive world at the silicon valley so i i'm just using this brief opportunity if you ask uh, i'm not giving a speech i've given too many speeches in rantau <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness <laughs> so uh, to to first to reiterate the need to um, support the initiative of the government and our dna 23 second to keep on reminding ourselves that it must be done cautiously knowing the diversity they need to recognize the importance of all racial groups rural and urban they could be used and utilized as a source of strength instead of weakness to create greater bond of unity among the Malaysians other than divide and uh, finally of course to welcome uh, Mitch and Frida so, uh, Frida of course is not going to speak today but she is uh, wonderful Aziza mentioned to me in fact complained this morning why wasn't Frida given the floor that's not my fault, it's Andrew's fault. <laughs> uh, so politicians um, have the responsibility, but not accountability. <laughs> this is, this is uh, not us, huh? I'm just quoting a former chief minister of one state. When he had this... Um, enormous problem water problem in the state of malacca he said yes i'm responsible but not accountable <laughs> but that's the past so uh mitch i mean i do not uh, choose to repeat um give all the accolades that you have achieved thus far is there i mean most of them are known i mean you are known to them um and uh, some of uh, my friends at Sunway and Star said, well, I know, I think because of your presence, there's so many of you come. No, these guys, are, those who most of you are present, are highly interested in what I have to say. <laughs> they have never appeared in my charamas. <laughs> but they come actually to listen to you. <laughs> so, thank you very much.